Okay, we're going to take that 2 to the x power equals 20. And what we're going to do in order to solve this is we're going to take the log of each side. Okay? We're going to take the log of each side. Okay? So what are we doing? We're using our algebra and we're manipulating just like we do as long as we do it algebraically correct. We haven't changed that equality, right? We keep them balanced. Okay? So let's take the log of both sides. So you would have log of 2 to the x equals log 20. Okay? This is a strategy that we'll uh, do again here in a little bit with our equations. Okay? It is one strategy to solve for our x's or our variables. Okay. Now, I want that x. Okay? I want to solve for that x. I need to get to him. Right now, he's embedded inside the log as an exponent. Okay? But I can do something with my power. What does my power property say on your packet, your power property? What can we do with the power that's inside? We can move him outside, and then he changes to a what? Mul multiplication. Very good. Okay, so we're going to move him on out. So he'll come on out to the outside. So we would have x times, now because he's a multiplier now, x times log of 2 equals our log of 20. Okay, so what have we done? We've got that x to where now we can, he is now a part of the equation, he's not embedded anymore. Now we can actually solve to find what the x is. So if I have x times log 2, how am I going to isolate my x? Divide that log 2 out of there. So let's do that, both sides. Okay, that works out nice and neat, my log base 10 of 2, go away. I'm left with x equals. Now, you will need to go to your calculator, figure out what log 20 divided by log 2. Make sure when you put this into the calculator, uh, pay attention to your parentheses, okay? If you've not gotten your calculator, you can come up and get it. Four point what three two two okay okay so you have a it, it's actually a very long decimal right and we've kind of <clears throat> rounded off there all right so we took a log of base two and guess what we found we actually found what that value was right we had to go um, apply our property do some rewriting, but in fact, we can actually find a base other than 10 in the calculator, okay? Now, if we do a quick check, go ahead and check this. Does 2 to the 4.322 power give you 20? Do a quick check. Does that 2 raised to that 4.322 give you the 20? Now, we rounded, right? So we're going to be off a little bit, but are you close enough to that 20 when you check it? Yeah. Okay. All right. I want you to come over here, and I want you to do your second one, okay? So that one is our log of base 0.8 of 4 equals x. All right? So go through the same steps and solve for x on that one. We go through the same process. We do the rewrite. We, uh, color. If we do that rewrite, we end up with uh, log of the 0.8 to the x equals log of 4. And then we do the rewrite. We bring our power to the outside, so now we will have access to him. He becomes a multiplier. And then we divide out that log of 8, 0.8, sorry. And we end up with a negative 0.6212. Did you go back and check? Okay. All right. So let's take a look and see if we can establish a pattern here. 
okay? We had a log base 2 of 20 equals x. When we came down here, what I want you to focus on is this step right here and this step right here, okay? So we started with log base 2 of 20 equals x. So where did this 20 come from? From what? From the, yeah, it came from here. And where did the 2 come from? It was the base, okay? So we got the 20 here and the base, and the 2 was our base. Let's come over here. Where did the 4 come from? That's our augment, right? And then where did the log point 8 come from? Where did the point 8 come from? The base. The base, okay? So do you see a pattern right here? Do you see a pattern forming? Yes. In both cases, we took the log of the augment divided by the log of the base. And over here, we took the log of the augment divided by the log of the base. Okay? So that's our pattern. So let's turn to the next page, please. We're going to make that into a formula that we're going to follow. So remember what we did. We took the log of the augment. In this case, they're calling that the n divided by the log of the base, and in this case, they're showing that as our little b, okay? Now, I want you to do 5, 6, 7, and 8, okay? You're not going to do it the way you did on the front. That was extra work just so we would establish the pattern. What I want you to do for 5, 6, 7, and 8, I want you to sub into your change of base formula, okay? Okay. So if we look at number 5, we had the log of, what's our augment? 32 divided by our log of, what's our base? 8. Okay, what'd you get? 1.667. Okay, number 6, log of our, what's our augment on this one? The 1 over 49, that whole thing, right? divided by log of our base, and our base in this one is 7. What did you get? Negative 2? Okay, number 7, you got 2.5. What did you get? 2.25. And number 8 was, that was another negative, right? Negative 2.5. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, so now you are capable of finding logs of bases other than 10, and you do that by using this formula. Any questions on that? Okay. So remember back when we did our graphing, right, and we could only graph at that point base 10? Now you can graph them using this formula, okay? So I want you to turn your, uh, turn your paper to the last page. We're going to look at question number 13. Question 13, you're going to rewrite it just like you did on the front for your change of base. But this time when you go to the calculator, since we are going to graph it, you're going to put that into your Y1. Okay. Oops. Put that into your Y1, okay? Y1 equals do your change of base formula. Then I want you to come down and graph it. Now, before you do anything, you pretty well, you pretty uh, much should know what this is going to look like. We have log base 2 of x plus 4. x plus 4 means we have a movement of what? Where are we going with this? We're going to the left. How many? Four. Four. Okay. So you already know pretty much what your graph is going to look like because you know that you have your h here of negative 4. Also, when you graph it down here on your picture, put in your asymptote, okay? So give you a couple minutes to do that. Okay, so if we rewrite this, this becomes the log of what? What goes up here? X plus the x plus 4 divided by the log. log of the base, which is the 2. A lot of you guys were putting that backwards, okay? I'm not quite sure why, so that please be careful on that. All right, so we do know that that is a um, shift of 4 to the left. So we come over here and we put in our, I'll try to put it in. 1, 2, 3, 4, I think I'm right there. Somewhere right in there. There's our hypotenuse. 
Okay, you can use your table then. Remember, this is our reference point. We're going to move that oh, to the left four, which puts it, our pivotal points right in here. So we have our tail that skirts right next to the asymptote, and then it curves up like that. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, so now you can graph any um, base that you want and not just base 10. Okay, questions on that one? Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and check our homework.